out here working on the dually this morning. It's a little chilly. I had pulled the alternator off this thing to put it on our work truck Suburban a couple of months ago and it hasn't ran since. The battery's been sitting here unhooked. This thing never let me down before until the spider injectors went out. Let's see if she'll crank. Fuel pump's on. Yeah, it's running. I miss this thing. Just had my exhaust redone too. Shame. But today I'm gonna start working on it. Get it ready to get back on the road. So I'm gonna pull it up to the shop and start messing with it. Got it up to the shop. So one important thing to always remember when you're about to embark on a engine swap and you got power windows to make sure they're up. Almost made the mistake. Have made the mistake a few times. And it usually doesn't end well. Depending on how fast you're gonna get it done. I'm hoping to at least get a few things stripped off the engine today. <clears throat> um, not really sure what else. Gonna just roll with it and see what happens. Maybe try to get the radiator out of it. I don't know. Uh, I am planning on pulling the front clip just to make it easier to get the big block with the transmission in all in one piece. So I ain't really decided if I'm gonna try to pull just the core support and leave the fenders or what. Usually that, I don't know, that hasn't really worked out well for me before, but I would also like to leave the hood on and the springs are connected to the fenders. Well, I think the, you now the hinge itself is hooked to the body. It's bolted, yeah. So I guess the hood would stay on the cab. It just wouldn't have springs, which is cool too. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, but I'm just kind of happy it ran and drove up here, but yeah, I guess uh, about to get started doing something on it. Wasn't really sure how far I was gonna get. Not quite finished up yet either, but I got a few things taken off the engine. Air box, AC compressor. I got the AC lines all disconnected. And I got kind of a pile of parts here. I took the uh, parking lights out, grill off, get to all those lines and stuff. And uh, I don't really know what I'm I don't really know what I'm gonna do next. I got the heater hoses unhooked. Just kind of chipping away at it. I got somebody coming to look at a truck here in a few minutes. But yep, that's where I'm at now. Just gonna keep messing with it. Asking stupid questions. So what's going on here? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> act like you know what the fuck's going on. 
Well, here's the only problem the exhaust is going to be in the way. Yeah. I'm going to clean that all in. Katrina, you can wrap that up Well, it's not going to afford that much. I'm going to have it pretty much. All you're doing with that is mainly getting it out of the mouth. All right, I guess I'll talk for a second. I got some help today, so we're about to get the engine and trans out of the dually. Grant's underneath with a jack. He's going to lift the transmission out of the transmission mount off the cross member. Everything else is unhooked. The wiring harness is done. Uh, I got the chain moved a little bit further back, so we're pulling the engine and trans at the same time. Let's go. You just tell me when you're ready, boy. Go ahead. Yeah, I gotta come back down and move the chain. Who did your exhaust? Geno's. I need to get him to do mine. Or uh, Gino cool. did it. A Scambia car care. Oh, yeah, that's just yeah. yeah, I know. It was cheap too. How much? I remember. I remember. Two hundred bucks. bucks. What? I swear. It's brand new. No. Only about half I full. love that fucking guy. Do they make it? You don't. You don't do it awesome no more though. They make them where they're only half full. Well, some of them are. Well, supposedly he does. For some reason, they're half full. They don't leak. Oh, uh, really? But there's still the yeah. same amount of stuff in it. You want? Know? It's weird. Uh, it should be good. Yeah, you have it. Got to open back my truck. All right, Grant. I'm going back. Right back there on the back. Back wall. And there in the bathroom, there's rolls over in the overhead too. Can you come down? I don't know. It's like it's it's wedged. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta come back down. What's going on? I'm gonna have to move the chain again. A little too much, yeah. Go ahead. A little, little too many smoked juice. No, no. What are you thinking? That's good. Oh boy. You can smell it. Okay, there we go. There, chopped up over there. I want to do a regular and spicy. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit. Of it. Good. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Go up. Is it good? Yeah, I feel like it tastes like a stick. Alright, I gotta go Sweet. up just a little. That's good. Sweet citrus on some shrimp with the, with the chili flakes in it. Yeah. Wedge yeah. somewhere, we'll man. Wedge one of the transmission yeah. Give yeah. me a. Uh, yeah. Alright, we got the trans cross member out. What are you gonna do? You wanna go? You wanna go down? What? I mean, are you gonna go down or what? Are you So I'm going to clear the starter and the oil filter. Alright, I'm coming out. I'm pushing on it. Go up. Alright. Back.
sun there, city sleep. <laughs> cool. Hi, LJ on the film. This is LJ's first motor pool. And we, uh, we actually broke you in good, man. It's a motor and trans pool. There it is. Thanks, guys. Gonna get the manifolds on the dually motor today. Dude, I woke up this morning. Guess what? What? <laughs> Looked in the fridge. I was like, oh, there's some beers missing. Open up the garbage can, there's three in there. I fucking kick open the door. I was like, wait, what the? <laughs> yeah, he drinks beer. Did y'all see my Snapchat this morning? All right, there it is. Manifolds are on. Valve covers are back on. Got everything cleaned off. This side's on too. Manifold, grade eight bolts. Welded that hole shut. And got the truck up here. So me and dad are about to Set a time lapse up of us putting it in. Enjoy. Size. It's a fucking great size. All we gotta do is I'll just have to buy two that size yeah. for the front. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, we got the motor in, and I didn't want to put a jack on the bottom of the trans pan, so I jacked it off of the trans mount and bent the stud. But it's okay because the trans mount really need to be replaced anyways so it's all good i'm gonna get a new one of those we got the cross member in though dude you know what's funny too i think that if i was able to use the stock dually manifolds that the exhaust would have bolted right up i really think that because when i was underneath it was so close and it's even close on this side i bet they would have damn near bolted up well, I guess I got some new tires. Yeah, a little pizza on the grill. I need to bring you that pizza pan stuff. Yeah, a little frozen pizza on the grill. Chicken pot pie. <sighs> yeah, shop's empty now. I'll 